So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 38th Android application development tutorial in which uh, I'm gonna show you how to make use of grid layouts and uh, pretty much create a simple UI like a calculator one because that would be kind of a best demonstration for a grid layout because it uh, kind of requires you to put things in grid and would be terrible thing to do with a linear layout at least so first of all change this to grid layout right and uh, pretty much i just don't need these five actually right so now what we have is that uh, i need to create some buttons right so what we can do is we can just create a button and the fun fact here is that you don't actually need a width and the height attribute right here now the reason is that you are working in a grid layout but if you switch to some other layout it becomes mandatory to specify height and width of this particular view but with grid there's nothing as such right so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, say first of all I'm gonna restrict my width of the columns to a particular number for example if I open calculator here you can see that it's pretty sure that no matter how the scale version is of calculator there are only four columns like if you're running a tablet you might display a view like this or if you're running a mobile you might want to display something like this you know it's kind of so what I want to do here then is say Android column count as uh, let's just say we want four columns only the three by three for the numbers and then the fourth one for operations right and uh, I'm just gonna specify the actually I just want to switch this to wrap content and I'll just let you know in a moment why and then I would specify the gravity to be center right so now you can see that my grid layout the whole layout is in center but it kind of looks like this button is in center because it's the only element right now in the grid right so now with the wrap content my grid layout would accordingly would be flexible to whatever contents I have inside my grid layout right so now I can say that this is Android text of uh, let's just say this is button one right and uh, I just replicate this button four times so I change this to two three four right and uh, check this out well right now I have not set the orientation property but if I change the orientation from horizontal which is right now to vertical you can see these things are stacked in a row instead of a column well it's up to your needs what you need but for now I'm just gonna switch it back to horizontal and uh, I need to create buttons right so what I want to do is set this to 1, this to 3, actually 2, then this one 3, 4, and then we need 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can actually just do it with a code snippet as well. You can in your main activity.java just create. A button dynamically assign this grid layout an ID and just loop over and add the buttons but uh, that would be kind of advanced approach but let's just stick to the basic one right now and we need to have in between the um, whatever the operations as well so right now instead of four I'm gonna say that this one is I don't know what this is divide right so we can just write a slash like that for this for then we need it after six so this would be a multiplier right and then we need it after nine this would be an addition one addition one right so 
we need this one row this row as well so what we can do is uh, I can just write uh, zero here and uh, where's the subtract one actually we need to subtract here instead and uh, I can create like uh, I don't know I can just pretty much create this as equal to then this one is zero and then this one is finally subtract or add and this kind of looks weird so let's just make it uh, um, I don't know like zero zero or zero point zero something and then create it just to get things in place for now so here we go All right so now we have a basic layout set up but uh, what I would like to have is that uh, in this application it's kind of uh, actually yeah I just I can just change this to point right so in this application the Microsoft one the width and uh, basically the size of each cell is same but uh, in your application you might want to span this plus for about two rows or for two columns as well so how we do that well for that what you can do is you can make use of a property known as layout underscore then whatever you want to span across like for I want for example I want the division one where is it right there to span like uh, Android layout row span to be like three right so now you can see that it is actually taking in the space for three rows instead of just one but it doesn't look like it is well the reason is that you can the reason not not the reason but the fix is that you can just fill its gravity right so now it just takes whole width and you can just change this row span to call span as well and uh, well you can change it to three as well now you can see that it spans three columns instead of rows so that is how pretty much you do some row spanning and column spanning in uh, grid views and uh, in the next video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enhance this layout a little bit so that it looks better and uh, I guess we could just create the size of this plus and equal to a little big and uh, maybe just get rid of this thing at all because we just love integer addition subtraction and yeah so that is all for this tutorial and if you like it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one